hello good morning everyone so today i'm going to cover very important topic right so how you can create your own chat gpt kind chat ui right so nowadays we know that everyone is talking about the generative ai llm models and all that right so how you can create your own uh, you can say chat gpt kind application okay so here in this video i'm going to talk about a specific open source version that is llama 3.1 right that is uh, backed by the facebook okay so here i am also going to talk about the olama right so if you go that olama dot com right so here you can see that olama supports the customization and creating your own models okay own llm models for the particular specific applications right so here if you go on this particular olama.com then you will find that get up and running with large language models run llama 3.1 v3 mistral gemma 2 these are the very uh, known llm models open source llm models right backed by the uh, major companies right so here you can see whenever you click on this download button right then it takes you to the particular platform that whether it's a mac os linux or windows right so here i have a mac so it is showing me that download for the mac os right if you have if you have linux then you can go for this if you have windows then you just go for this one right so as i have already downloaded the olama on my computer right because uh, uh, to save the video times right so here you can see that if i go and run the command olama list right olama list okay so you will find that i have one model installed right 19 minutes ago and the size of that model is 4.7 gigs right and here you can see that the version of llm is the llama 3.1 8 billion right so here uh, this is the version and here is the 8 billion means the parameters on which this particular llm llama 3.1 is trained right so if you go here on olama here you will find uh, different models so here the latest one is llama 3.1 here you can see that it is having 8 billion 70 billion and 4.405 billion right so here you can just click on the llama 3 that it is going to provide you the particular model instructions right like this here the model name is that whatever the parameter quantization right so if you uh, study if you have studied the uh, particular algorithms and all that then you will understand that what is this quantization matters right then parameters is their licenses templates okay here it is showing you the particular size suppose if i change this to 70 billion right so here uh, it is trained on 70 billion parameters and the size is 40 gb and here 405 then if you see that the size is 229 gb right so here the particular description and the benchmarks evaluations and comparisons are given with the other models like here you can see llama 3.1 8, uh, 8 billion here is the gemma 9 million mistral 7 billion instruct mistral chat gpt that 3.5 turbo right so here you can just go to the evaluation parameters and you can find the suitable model for you right but here as the limitation of my machine right i am sticking onto the 8 billion only and uh, here you can just go and click on this you can also pull the image directly like right? this olama run uh, llama 3.1 so if i have already as i have already installed olama on my machine then i can just directly run this command right so olama run 3. Point, llama 3.1 so successfully it pulls the image if it is not in your uh, particular machine then first you have to download that right so instead of run you have to write the olama pull llama 3.1 and you can also specify the specific uh, parameters like this okay so here i'm just asking hi 
who are you right so the model is giving me the answer like i am an artificial intelligence model or known as the llama llama stands for large language like that okay so here you can see you can just see that slash question mark if i put then it is showing me the available commands which are for the llama right so then set then so then load save clear by right so suppose if i if i uh, go for the head set so okay and here you can see what are the other instructions available for show that set so info model files parameter template then slash show then info right so you can see that if i write this command then it is giving me the information about my model right the llama 8.0 billion and all that okay so here you can just see the particular information right suppose if you want to exit then you can just go for the buy right and you are uh, going to exit from the llama so you just uh, see this particular commands so if you want to see that particular commands then you just need to uh, go for the olama documentation right then you just go to the olama github right so here you can just see once i open this then it shows me the particular model information right how you can install the comparisons and all that stuff right so here how you can customize a model right so here the particular commands are given okay so various commands are given you can just customize your prompt also suppose say for example if i want to uh, let my model to only answer in regards of the mario game right then i can change the particular model file i can change the template over here okay so and then you can just fire up these commands right and you are just uh, going to work with your own customized llm model right so here as i told you that here you have olama pull command olama remove suppose if i want to remove any specific model then i can just remove i can just directly clone that on my model name right so you can see copy a model multi line inputs are there so you can see olama list so various uh, uh, you can say suppose if you have installed if you have downloaded the more than one particular llm models then it will list out all these right then olama ps right so list which models are currently loaded okay so suppose if if i go over here and just uh, if i run this command right then it is showing me that which is currently running right so it's a 6.2 giga gb right 100% processor is using 2% route okay so you can just see over here you just start running the server like olama so olama run llama 3.1 so here is the very good documentation is provided by itself this olama uh, guys right so here you can just find all the information right so now let's uh, move ahead to our uh main agent that how you can create your own chat gpt so for that first you require the docker right so you just uh, go over here and just go to the docker site right so here you are just uh getting the si sign up right so docker desktop you can just go there okay so it is just go over here on a docker desktop and just download whatever suitable uh, platform you have right once you installed and running the docker then it is working like this okay so you have to start the docker compulsorily now here you can see here one image i have drawn right so this is the particular old image from the github so this is very much important because uh, what we want in this that you just have this kind of ui so we are not going to create the ui the ui is already created by some fox right so the olama itself is created this particular chat ui for running the llm model so right now it is known as the olam ol it is also known as the open web ui right so you just uh, go to go to the open web ui right and uh, just click on this particular link and you see here how how you can install how easy it is to install this particular so if olama is on your computer yes i have olama 
if olama is on different server i am not having if a nvidia gpu support is available right so this is the most important so this is for the speed and performance guys right so if you have a nvidia gpu i don't have right now on my mac nvidia gpu i have a local gpu that is integrated intel gpu right so if you have nvidia gpu external gpu then it runs faster more faster right so you what you need to do you just need to copy paste this particular command and just go to the terminal and just paste it over here and install right enter so what it will do it will just pull out the images of open web ui and all that stuff and after successfully install you will see this kind of stuff over here so that is open web ui right if you click on this right so it is just showing you this particular so if first time you are uh, entering into this particular local host 3000 right then it will ask you for the sign up so it is very easy to sign up guys you just enter your email address your password and just log in right first user whenever you are entering then it is the admin user by default so once you click on this here so you will get this active user so what is the main benefit you if you have an organization right and if you want to create your own chat gpt kind of things right then you can just create this kind of stuff and you just pull out this particular local host and port number you can also set that right and you just whenever you have a network access then at that particular specific spaces you can access this ui right so here admin panel is there so how you can create this particular stuff so you just go over here here right now currently i am the only user right so it is showing you that settings general user so i'm going to create one specific video for this explaining all this stuff right so right now uh, i'm just having the model right so here you can just pull a model from olama right so you just need to click over here to find to navigate to the olama just write down the llama 3.1 colon whatever number of parameters 8 billion and if you click on this then it is going to be downloaded right so if you successfully downloaded that and just go to the new chat over here just select a model then you will find this llama 3.1 or llama 3.1 okay so this is my chat gpt you can see it gives you the hello dr Funal patel right so it's a nice uh, chat gpt guide it is also taking the voice input record a video you can upload the documents right so as uh, the performance of this my machine if i as i don't have a gpu right then it is very slow so i have already uh, chat with this particular model and you i am showing you the answers that hi how are you who are you right so the llama is replying me that this is the particular reply then i am again asking what is llm then you can see this, this is what is the this is the particular nice uh, you can say response according to my answer you can also upload the particular uh, document and you can ask that so this is the particular pdf i am having so i i ask that they summarize the document so it is nicely summarize the document and accurately summarize whatever the content in this right again i have uh, put some mongodb installation steps in one text document and it is also summarizing that you can see instruction how to install run mongodb on mac os and all that stuff right so you can see this uh, you just download this uh, particular thing and you just open the content right so you can see this is the content of the file right so you can say that you it is uh, accurately uh, collecting the information from the document right so uh, this is the uh, local element so what is the benefit of this main benefit of this is the privacy so if you have an organization right and uh, you don't want your data to go outside because whenever you are using chat gpt you, we don't know where our data is going where our data is storing who is using right so this is the total private chat gpt guys right so uh, this is a very much useful so you can integrate this you can customize this model with your own stuff and you can create the applications very good generative ai applications by using this open source facilities right so that's it in this video uh, i'm going to create another detailed video for this open web ui and uh, llama commands right thank you for watching this